What's up, Leo? With your November love general reading. This is for my lovely Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Leo out there. So guys, this is a general, as always, in generals, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective or be a personal reading for you. So just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. So Spirit, tell me about Leo. What is the energy surrounding Leo, please, in love for the month of November? Tell me about Leo. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, Six of Queens reverse and Seven of Blades reverse. So your masculine here, we already had, like I was pre-shuffling, and um, your masculines are heavily contemplating leaving. So whatever situation they're in right now, which to me it has for the most part been karmic situations um, or they're in another relationship, um, this they're being led away okay so your masculine um they could have a family as well okay so um your masculine is headed towards a new direction leaving the past behind leaving their um current situation so masculines are on path to basically say goodbye to the old and come in with a new and recently since i don't know this past week i've had this crazy energy from the masculines and a lot of nostalgia like mad nostalgia is everywhere not just me universally um masculines are really missing their feminines right now they're really having a hard time um without their feminines Ooh. so um that just be aware of that energy because it's out there and, and i believe it's really coming from your masculine so if you're dreaming a lot about them um they're really missing you so we have a five of cups. So this goes hand in hand with the six of swords. The five of cups is all about mourning, grief, sadness, um, cups being spilled over. So their life kind of spilling over tower moment, perhaps um, destruction of some kind. So um, within their realm, within their situation. So they're leaving behind this pain, this grief this heartbreak and sadness, um, something has really challenged them and basically the karmic energy has lost its grip and they're ready to depart. Um, because next in line comes this 10 of cups, which is happiness, wholeness, union, um, just complete and utter satisfaction and fulfillment. Um, a very beautiful card to receive for Twin Flames. We have them dancing and they're just happy because they're finally home. So the masculines are finally coming home to their feminines. Um, away from this grief and sadness and pain. So your masculine is on their way out and looking to come back in union with their feminines to home, to their home, to where they're happy. Okay, so for masculines... Planning strategies have that a lot. Um, heartbreak, just like I said, that's mixed. Oh my god. Um, wow. Out of all my readings, you can look back on them, it's never come out like that before. Heavy burden. So there's a heavy burden that your masculine has to take on when making this decision so it's because they have um for some of them the maskins have a family a lot just came out and it's all about endings destructions the divine feminine we have temperance page of wands so we have um a message coming in for the feminines <sighs> this is incredible so everything was just flying, flipping everywhere. That doesn't happen to me, um, as evidenced by my other uh, videos, readings. These all coincide with the same thing. Okay, so first off, what I saw was, oh my gosh, mm, Ten of Swords. So betrayal, stabbed in the back, um, basically death to their ego, death to 
their current situation where they are. Um, this is amazing. Truly, truly amazing. And the rest of what's up here is just unbelievable. So there was a painful situation, a heartbreak, maybe third, um, three third parties. So a love triangle for you guys here. Um, if you're, you know, still currently in a relationship or if they're currently in a relationship coming out of a marriage, coming out of another karmic, um, relationship could also be family members and friends doesn't have to be romantic um their heart was broken there's pain and grief and sadness this is for you too feminine um loneliness and it's just destroyed so their life that they knew is just done and then they have these two one that one being them one being their love their feminine because i see a high priestess in here and i also see um the Empress, which is the feminine car, okay? Wow. So, heartbreak, sadness, grief, leaving situations, saying goodbye to the karmic, leaving those situations for their happiness and wholeness and fulfillment, which is with their feminine, their um, Empress. So, we also have this financial stability. We have being left out in the cold here. Uh, maybe low on resources, low on finances. So they're working on strengthening some things, being more stable here in their lives. We have the turn and symbol here for Twin Flames as well. So your masculine has been kind of left out in the cold, maybe getting a cold shoulder by you, but I'm feeling like this betrayal too is this karmic energy here, this karmic person. So masculines are kind of financially low right now and need to work on stabilizing that and strengthening their lives right now because they've just had a complete haul over of their entire life. Um, and then, oh, oh my God, out of all oh, who I got out of this, um, your masculine has to make plans. So planning, strategizing, putting one sword after the other. So they have to kind of plant them one after the other, other for a stable um, plan to come forward towards you. So they have to come out of this instability this heartbreak, this grief, this sadness has to be healed. Um, they're going to draw in from their higher intuition, the 5D realm with you, the black and the white, the yin and yang, okay? So balancing the feminine and masculine and also reaching their divine intuition, divine guidance to bring them forward towards you. And this is incredible, guys. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So we have karmic cycles this is what tells me it's a karmic cycle. I'm not just making this up trying to say, oh, karmic this, yeah, you know, come into my reading. Like, this is for real. Um, wheel of Fortune. This karmic wheel is going to spin around, it's going to come full circle, and it will be the end because we have this heartbreak. We have them leaving this situation. So your masculine is working on departing, and this karmic wheel is closing. Because... Not only that, we also have the magician, so creation power and manifestation. And again, the eternal symbol, I mean, it can't get any clearer than this. Your guys' connection is strengthening. The masculine of Emma's connection is strengthening, and they're pulling in on this power to manifest you, to manifest this relationship, to reconnect with you for, drum roll, a new beginning. So the fool. New beginnings, innocent beginnings, innocent longings, new love, new life being shown to them, the love within for their feminines, okay? And everything has to have balance. So temperance. It's going to take patience. Everything has a middle ground and has to kind of balance out. So it will take some time for your masculine to balance out situations in their side for them to come to you in a more positive um, way, okay? Sorry, let me um, get off there. Okay, for it to come in a more positive way so that there is a whole union coming together with this happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction and union. Okay, so yes, a balance to the energy, okay? And then also having some patience for this to come about because they have to take the steps one by one to focus on stability and coming out of this. But this is amazing because we have these crazy, incredible cars here. Um, 
we have the emperor and the empress seated together. So these came out together in completely different parts of the deck. Um, that's how powerful this is. That's how powerful this connection is. That's how powerful this energy is with the masculines. And like I said, before I even started reading, I can sense this energy between the two of you, between the feminine and masculine. So you guys are going to come together here, work together, make a team. The masculine is craving you. You are craving the masculine. They're tired of this. The comic wheel has spun cycle and cycle and cycle over again. And it's done. It's it's time. It's ready. And there's going to be a new creation, new manifestation of a new beginning between the two of you, divinely led and guided into union for the masculine and the feminine. Okay, so you both are going to come together as one. Very powerful. Very powerful. And I also um, see this because we have the lover. So divine union, love, um, there's a chemistry and mutual attraction, um, passion and romance between the two of you is very powerful right now. So we get the lover. So we get physical union, divine union. And especially with this 10 of cups, I see that coming together. So we have the masculine and the feminine coming together in love. They crave you. They want you and desire you. And we have lovers. Okay. And there ha we have messages coming forward as well. So someone bringing a message, a lover's message, um, communication from your masculine, and action. So King of Swords, we have action here, um, taking that leap of faith, coming in real strong, coming in real hard. Your masculine wants you, wants this union, and wants love with you, wants romance and passion with you, a new beginning. They want to leave all this behind to start something new. So coming in, your mask is going to be coming in fast, okay? Building up that strength. And we have King of Pentacles. Like I said, stability financially. Um, and I see kind of like success with this, with this King of Pentacles. I see them planning and strategizing and making a plan to um, definitely solidly come forward with that offer with you. Um, but this is just unreal. I have not in the times I've been doing this, seeing something come together like this, especially with the Empress and Emperor, the masculine and feminine energies and the lovers together is just incredible. Okay. So, who, I mean, all of that, all of this, that's that powerful energy there with the masculine and feminines. So we'll start off with um, Twin Flame, our twin flame um, energy here. I thought I had another one. Oh, there it is. Okay. With our twin flame parts here. Get those oracles. And then st keep come, uh, stick around. Stay here. We have your DM's confessions. Their desires for you. This um, Halloween edition. Twin flame hunger. How they're desiring you. How they want you. Messages from your counterpart. From their heart. Untold truths. So stick around. This might be... A little bit of a longer one but well worth it and like i said going to be well worth it to say after the video as well to get that information that i'm going to give to you guys this is a very exciting day going into this weekend is awesome okay as of mirroring one another, um, like I said, there's a reciprocation um, of feelings between the two of you. We have home again. Masculines are working on coming home to their feminines. Some Zetas will get the Twin Flame Oracle. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm supposed to keep that with myself. You guys don't see it for yourself. I mean, I'm mastered in this. Eleven, eleven, time for you, man. I mean, this is powerful stuff. Okay, so let's start off here. We have mirroring, reflection, twin wholeness, and synchronicity abounds. So we have you guys are mirroring one another. The triggers that you guys have been going through together or separately 
um, especially those in separation, has been working because it's bringing you guys closer together. You guys are fine that you're just kind of mirroring one another and taking those steps has helped to heal you both and to lead and guide you masculine forward. So you guys are heavily mirroring one another, grieving about one another, sensing each other's energy, um, really feeling the feminine. Right process, contemplation, understanding your journey. So masculines are starting to understand things, starting to process and contemplate and um, really figure out the importance of this journey and coming back with you offer. Just your engagement, wedding, rejoice in your union. So rejoicing in your union, coming together. So this is all about like that 10 of cups, that fulfillment, satisfaction, the happiness coming back home and into union with your masculine. So I, like I said, they're gearing up for this offer towards you for union. In actual calmness, step back, wait for a sign. So this is the same as the um, uh, temperance, um, patience, okay? So just wait. Wait for that sign, that signal. They will come forward to you, your, meaning your masculines. Um, there will be an offer in here mirroring with one another. Um, they're contemplating this. They have to make plans and take steps. So take a pause, feminines. Give it some time for your masculine to come forward before taking any steps, before taking any action. Head and path, the tour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. So a new start. The masculine has found this hidden path. Masculine has found this door that has always, you know, kind of been open to them, but they were always afraid to walk through. They had some fears that they had to get over. So your masculine is finding these secret hidden doors to you, to your union, to come together with you. Um, and they're finally shifting their position and taking, uh, making that choice to come forward to you, to their feminine. So talking about um, mirroring and synchronicities, meaning that you two are seeing these signs of synchronicities, things are really coming together. 1111. So we have synchronicity abounds wholeness, and then we have signs of synchronicity. 1111. So, tw uh, oh, Wardy. Mm. I just, wow, I'm so happy about this. So, I mean, for those out there who are really feeling this, somebody is, you guys are really need to hear this. So you guys are mirroring one another. So you're not alone. Your masculine is um, feeling the same way that you are. They're missing you. They're nostalgic for you. They want you. They desire you. They want this union. You guys are mirroring one another, triggering. You're being triggered in your everyday life, seeing the same synchronicities and signs of one another, seeing the name, hearing your name. Let's, the same music that you guys are hearing that are reminding one another of each other. You guys are mirroring. This is an amazing group of twin flames. Not all groups are amazing. Um, for those who this resonates to, though, there's a lot of power, a lot of power between the two of you in this connection. Twin flames. So your masculine recognizes you, recognizes their reflection, their twin there, this wholeness between the two of you, um, your masculine is seeing this now and awakening. So your masculine is awakening <sighs> to this twin flame journey, to this twin flame concept, mirroring with you, synchronizing with you, wanting an offer to give you union, rejoice in your union, wedding engagement, which means the coming together. Two of you will come together and, and meet and I, it's just unbelievable how much these are coming together, awakening, mirroring, signs of synchronicities, and of course, uh, Twin Flame, okay? See, you guys are our powerful Twin Flame group here. Okay, mm. so let's get my favorite, Calico Moon, um, Pining Rose deck. Um, all of these are great, amazing decks, but this one has always just really resonated for me for Twin Flames and for my readings. And I love using them because they're just so pretty and has the gilding on it. And price is well worth it because she's a beautiful, beautiful soul and um, soul sister to me. So I highly recommend her um, Etsy shop link or just her name. You can look it up in Etsy um, is in my description box. So 
these are awesome. And I love these. Just make sure that I recognize those who have really helped me on this journey. So if I'm not feeling pain going on, then I'm... Timothy is waiting. Ooh, okay. Use this one. Recognition. Maybe not Okay. And we'll get some twin flame hunger. What are the masculines desiring for the feminines? Oh my gosh. Our bond is unbreakable. That kind of flipped out of there. Sorry, guys. Take me a moment. No wanna. There we go. Okay. So, ascension. Masculines are awakening and descending in this connection. Connection, you should feel it growing stronger. It's getting uh, much stronger. In hiding, okay? So, like I said, your masculine visitor needs some time. Um, you might like, if you're not hearing from them right now, you feel like they're ghosting you, but they're, they're just kind of in a safe zone right now in a safe bubble, um, because of that pain and everything that they were going through with their common situation, um, getting out of that, that breakup, that sadness and grief and mourning. Uh, so they're in a hiding, but they're still contemplating, they still contemplating you, um, to come forward, things like that. Um, they recognize the connection, okay? There's a recognition to you and awakening within them. And they're seeing signs for you, signs of synchronicities, and it's all guiding them forward to you. Drifting, okay? So right now, like in hiding, drifting. So they feel like they're just kind of, they're taking a moment to breathe out, taking a moment to heal and to reflect. And so they're just kind of floating a little bit, just kind of, not focusing too heavily on any of the bad things that have been happening. So that's going to get us helping them to heal. That's their way of dealing with all of this waiting. So there's going to be a little bit of waiting. We had waiting. We had pause. We have waiting. We had temperance. So patience in this situation going to call for patience is going to call for some waiting. And many of you, I know it's like been waiting for a long time already. Um, but there's, you know, and there's going to take some more time because especially for those masculines who are just now leaving the karma situation, it's going to take more time. So I hold myself accountable for my own actions. So kind of blood on their hands here. So the masculines know they hurt you by making you wait by saying, you know, if they ever said mean things to you or, you know, lied to you um, or not upfront with their feelings, they're really feeling that pain right now. And um, they're taking responsibility for that and, that karma they feel like maybe is their punishment and they're just getting out of it. I'm resisting you. So for many of the masculines, they were resisting you withholding their feelings. I just talked about how they're holding themselves accountable for doing this to you. Um, kind of holding you uh, without telling you, you know, what was going on with them. And they have to resist you because they're in another relationship because there was this other karmic energy um, or person, and they had to kind of resist you, and they that's what they had been doing. I will soon come out of the dark. Wow. So, you masculines are soon to come out of hiding. I will soon come out of the dark. Um, your masculines, as they have been kind of hiding away, playing this waiting game, well, this soon is to happen where they come out of the dark, um, they tell you the truth. So your masculines are looking to be upfront with you and communicate. I feel unworthy of you. So they're being, they're held, holding themselves accountable and they feel unworthy. They, um, your masculines feel like they don't deserve you, um, which isn't true at all. It's just, that's their inner fear. That's their inner turmoil that they're going through Why they're in hiding. Um, my cup runneth over. So yeah. Yeah, so their cup is kind of running over um, with all of this energy, with everything that's going on with them, um, but also in a good way, because it's running over with energy of you. Um, they're sensing you a lot, feeling you a lot, taking all of you in, absorbing all of that, letting it all happen, letting it all in so they can come out of the dark and come forward towards you so that you guys can have union. Um, so they might feel unworthy of you right now, but they're going to heal past that. They're going to 
take that risk. They're going to take those movements and take action towards you. In transition, yes. So you have, your masculine, that part of them is dying off, okay? So that they can ascend and move forward and move up in the connection. So you guys, your connection, like I said, it's in transition right now for your masculine. And they're going to come out of hiding. They're going to come out of the dark. And there's going to be this great ascension period for you masculine in which they're awakening and recognize this connection and want to come into union with their feminines, with you. So they're in transition right now. This is happening and occurring. And um, there is going to be a period where that ends and they come fully into this connection with you. And you'll feel that shift. You'll feel that change with them. Okay, so let's get some untold truths here from your masculine as pearl mask. Then we'll get some masculine madness and confessions for you and counterpart messages. So do not leave me. That was my attempt at an accent. I'm sorry. I, I do that sometimes. Pretty sure I was British in the past life. Okay. So the untold truths of your masculine. <laughs> yeah, feeling their energy. So just like I said, and pribs, and some law. Scroll low. Okay, I cut that part out for you. <laughs> Unconditional. Okay, so let's take a look at all this. Um, and also get our masculine madness. Worried about legacy a little bit. It's, oh, sorry, that was my fault. Lost control with all of the energy. And then masculine madness two, which is an addition paid to the masculine madness. And all of the masculine. <laughs> This is just amazing. Oh, I'm watching you. How are you? A little creepy, but I'm sure that it's with the best intentions. Not like really stalking you or anything. Okay, so I'll get the untold truth. Shattered, damaged, broken hearted, destroyed. So we're just talking about this. Maskins are going to go through this transition period. They're going through pain and grief and mourning right now. Um, that old karmic relationship that had been kind of holding them hostage or that they held themselves in for so long because of fears and things like that. But they're feeling your energy, feminine energy, okay? They want to be with their feminines. Um, your masculines can feel you energetically and they desire you. Um, they have a lot of passion for you. And here, better off. I love this. Happiness, perspective clear head space they're in hiding to clear their space they're better off out of this pain and mourning and grief and that karmic cycle so we had the wheel okay that karmic wheel is 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 breaking um and they want to be happy masculines want to be to have their happiness with their feminine okay loss grief sorrow pain Shit, oh my gosh yeah shattered and then we have loss so for this collective, your masculines are just shattered. They're torn apart. There's been this great loss. And um, masculines know they're better off without this situation, without this karmic partner relationship. Better off to be with their feminine. Elusive, intangible, dishonest, and tricky. So for a long time, your masculine has played this elusive game just so intangible, so impossible. But that's because there needs to be space for them to correct this situation, for them to heal and learn these lessons. Holding on, obsessing, watching. So we have cleaning. Hold on to this. Do not forget this. Holding on, obsessing, and watching. Don't forget this card. I'm going to keep it right here in the middle because we have something coming up here. Only you, fixated, attached, hypnotized. They are hypnotized by your energy fixated by you the feminine this feminine energy only you the masculine wants only you and they've come to a better perspective a higher perspective 
um, to come away from this being so elusive. Um, they don't want that anymore. Tension, turbulence, arguments, and stress. This is that tension they're feeling in their current situation. I don't know why I said worry, but so there's, yeah, a turbulence. There is a loss, a grief, and pain, and they're shattered, so much tension in their life. Ooh. But then we come again to this unconditional love. This is where they want to be innocence, whole heart, and support. So masculines are going to come in with their whole heart to you. Unconditional, feminine love to you, okay? Illusions, clotted judgment, unbalanced, and skewed. Illusions are being broken and tested and done away with. Just that's um, ending. All of this this uh energy here and tension and stress and pain and arguments i mean they're just it's so they're fed up with this energy so higher power i pray you will forgive me so your masculines are reaching you know for this higher power praying for this connection for a new start for a new beginning that you'll forgive them and let them come back in they were a little worried about about their status about their legacy so your masculines are dealing with like I said, stability. So they need this. They want to make sure they have this stability before coming in. Oh my God. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Awakening. So your masculines are having a little bit hard time with this ascension, with this transition and awakening. This is the second time we've gotten awakening. So this is definitely very prevalent for you guys' connection right now. There is a crazy awakening right here for your masculine. Um that they're coming into. So it might be helpful for you to send over some energy towards them, some loving, you know, um, caring energy and support this unconditional support and then love and wholeness to your masculine. And it will help them to um, recover faster, to transition um, in a bit in, you know, in a more, you know, e easier way or a little more light for them. So we have betrayal again. I'm sorry for turning my back the times you need me most. So we have the Ten of Swords betrayal. So at the same time that, uh, so this is crazy. So I feel like what they did to you also happened in their karmic situation. So they're sorry for turning their back on you when you need them the most, when you really craved them, desired them. They just didn't give you what you were giving to them. And your masculines felt like they were paying that they had blood on their hands that they were paying for what they did to you. And then they were stabbed in the back and betrayed by their karmic. And so now the tables were turned on them. They're repaying that if they're repaying that karma. Um, so this is very heavy. This is very heavy. You have what I need. So masculines know that you, yeah, you have it, that you have um, what they want. And their their needs are only going to be met when they come to you. Insecure. You bring out all my insecurities. I wonder if I could ever be good enough man. Uh, man uh, be man enough for you. Or in this case, masculine. Because it's gender neutral. Energies can be both. Um, you bring out all my insecurities. So you masculine is insecure. And, and the same fear we saw in another deck. Um, talking about how they don't know if they'll be good enough for you. So a little bit insecure decompress. I just need some time alone. Please don't take it personally. So I just talked about this. I was just telling you to give them some time, give them some space, even if it's been taking a while. Um, they need some space to heal, to come out of the situation that they're in, um, to heal all of this. Wishing, wishing and hoping you let me back in. I just said this. That's incredible. Wishing and open you let me back in. It's talking about in this other deck how they're praying you will forgive them to let him back in. So worried that you just are going to reject them, that they're not good enough for you. The masses are letting go of their anger. They let they let it get the best of them. But um, masculines working on healing this, letting that go, giving that over. Um, and then trying to come back in for forgiveness and hoping that you will take them back. Deranged. I feel like a psycho when I didn't know, when I don't know what is going on. So Matthews are wondering just what's going on with you. What's happening with them with, in this connection? Um, well, sorry, I kind of a feeling from spirit. I'm feeling from the masculine side, um, like a powerful emotional energy 
just going crazy. You don't know what's going on. This awakening, this ascension. Um, they need your help. Um, the masculines. That's why the. Um, that's why the. <laughs> I'm sorry, the um, masculine energy and feminine energy came together in the tarot deck um, for uh, for you guys. So, because we had um, our, that the empress and the emperor come out together. So, um, masculines are really, really the strength, okay, and, and support um, that you masculines need from you. You guys are, are together in this, and... The masculines, when they don't know what's going on in their energy or with you, uh, they just feel kind of crazy. The, okay, expectations. I can't meet high expectations. I've already failed. So you masculines feel like they've already just let this go on too far. And they're just praying and hoping you let them back in. Um, because they really, really want to be with you, desire you, have passion for you, want you physically, emotionally, everything. Unconditional, whole, wholeheartedly, they want you. But they're afraid of failing at meeting any expectations you have of them. And it makes them afraid that when they come in, you'll reject them because they're not what you anticipated. And so it's really important to have this unconditional, wholehearted love and to let them know that that's what you have for them. Anxiety. I have so much going on right now. Sorry, I can't be who you need me to be. Again, expectations. Masculines are going through an anxiety period as well. Having some real big anxiety keeping them up at night things like that um in regards to their situation uh because there's a lot going on distant i hate it you feel so far away and yet i know how close you really are so separation um they hate that you guys are in separation that you are not together and they know that you're really close energetically but physically you're far apart um you feel so far away to them and they just want to be close to you, connect, reconnect, hoping you let them back in. Foolish. I've been careless and foolish with your heart and my own. So the masculines know how foolish they have been and just careless and just letting the robotic, um, everyday life kind of just going through the motions take over because they thought that's what true life really is about. Um, but with this awakening, that's why it's so hard for them. Um, they have to reestablish a whole new life out of all of this, a new beginning and stuff. And it's really kind of, it's a lot for them to take in, to handle. So that's why there's a lot of patience needed some time. Okay. And they just hate how distant you guys are. You want to be close to you. So here we go. I'm watching you. Stalking is fine. And then we have holding on, obsessing and watching. This is why I said, keep this in mind. So your maskins are clinging onto you. Stalking spy, that can mean like on social media, um, asking other people about you, seeing what's going on. Hey, have you heard about this person? What's going on with them? Just, you know, general checking up. Um, but really, they just are desperate to know what's going on. They go crazy without knowing what's going on with you. So they haven't let go of you. And it, and obviously, uh, them seem like they own will. They want only you. They're feminine. Um, but they're watching you, keeping a close eye on you. Um trying to keep you in their peripherals, keep you close, even though you guys are distant, um, to hold on. So your masculines are holding on to you very heavily. So we'll go ahead and get some um, DMs, confessions for you, and then counterpart messages, and finally some words. And then after that, um... I will go over some special announcements with you guys, so don't leave me. I hope you have a few on time for this, you just pause it and come back in. Um, usually my readings like settle out after I've kind of been getting into the groove and the energy, so I'm, I apologize if at first it's kind of like almost a little bit everywhere. But what are the masculine's confessions to the feminine? Messages and confessions I want to tell feminine. Okay, and then we'll get counter heart messages. It's a masculine, the safe and a feminine. This could also be with their healing and working on. So it's their leisure to be handy and see with how they're healing.
off. Okay. Then finally, Inner Vibes. What is a masking on a safe to feminine? Need to say. Okay. Okay. So we'll do these fast. Okay, so you dance confessions. I do love you and want to spend time with you. That's so crazy. Um, right here, what I'm looking at is I miss spending time with you. So your masculine, like I said, nostalgia, they miss you a lot. Your masculine is confessing that they love you and want to spend special quality time with you, um, time, get to know you, and they miss spending that time with you that you guys used to have before the separation took place. I'm really, oh, lordy, I'm really missing you lately. Memories and our famed word, nostalgia. Popular word, nostalgia, <laughs> for this whole, like, past two weeks. I'm really missing you lately. Memories and nostalgia. I do love you. I want to spend time with you. Miss spending time with you. Soulmate, we have a special connection, my love. We've done this before. So, you masculine feels... Like, you guys have a faded connection. Like, there's a past life connection between the two of you. They might get around to feeling like you are their true love or some kind of soulmate to them, a soul connection, nevertheless. I have deep wounds from childhood to heal. I know you can help me, but I'm too proud to admit I want me to be nurtured. So they want your feminine energy. This is what that feminine energy was about. Your masculines are desiring to be close to you. They know you can help them, but they're proud to admit that that you can. So your masculine, um, we are getting all of this feminine energy, the empress, um, this nurturing energy that your masculine has really been feeling from you. Um, and I had just said that your masculines really need your help. Um, they need our help to give them that loving, nurturing energy where, I mean, honestly, they don't even have to ask. We just pray on it, meditate on it and send our love and it'll be received. So that's really awesome that that comes through. I know we have a connection unlike any other. Sometimes I try to deny it, but I can't ignore the signs I receive. So we have signs, synchronicities, and mirroring. So your masculine is feeling your energy. We have a special connection. Um, there's this connection that they just can't ignore anymore. Um, the signs that they receive is just so powerful and overwhelming. It's just time to wake up, time for them to realize what's going on. And they truly do love you, want to spend time with you. I want you right now. So your masculine is wondering where you are and want you just right now. I want you right now. That's how the masculines are feeling towards you right now. I'm gathering courage to reach out to you. So we we're talking about this, gathering the strength um, to make that, to take that rest, to, to make that final step towards you. So I'm gathering courage to reach out. So your masculines are going through uh, kind of a, a period of when do I reach out? How do I reach out? I want you right now. Where are you? I'm gathering courage to reach out to you. So these go hand in hand with one another. Healing some deep childhood wounds. They know there's this powerful, special connection between the two of you. Cannot ignore those signs anymore. Um, really missing you lately nostalgia memories and I do love you and want to spend time with you so your masculines miss spending time with you want to spend this time with you relationship is over so that karmic relationship that we're talking about um the karmic wheel is closing my heart belongs to you so only you masculines a heart um their inner vibe their inner heart longings and desires masculine desires you their heart belongs to you belong they believe you belong together you're a reflection of me oh my gosh mirroring so we have mirroring twice so you guys are reflecting one another mirroring one another i'm healing myself to love you better so masculines were talking about how they're healing their childhood trauma and past um that has kind of taken over their life right now and influenced their karmic lessons that are going on but that relationship is over and they're healing 
that themselves to love you better. And we have be cautious with your words. So when it comes to time for your masculine to communicate, which they're gathering the courage to do, masculines, higher selves are kind of letting you know, guiding you to pay close attention to what you say or think very hard before you communicate with them or before you say something that might trigger them to kind of veer a little bit the other way or mistake what you said um, to them. So there could be, you know, some miscommunication and the masculines are really um, sen not like sensitive right now, but still kind of going through a lot, still healing and um, building up a lot of courage to do this. And they probably fear that you might say something that will trigger them or kind of um, that would really hurt them in some kind of way. So I know that there's a lot of pain and there's a lot of things that you've wanted to say to them. Um, but I would kind of let that, let that, um, happen slowly, let them heal and let them, um, let your masculines kind of give them a chance to work their way up to apologizing and things like that before speaking too much. Um, so just kind of watch out for that. So your hands are magical. Always know where exactly where and how to touch me. So your masculines, you're the old... Your need, you're the only one that can fulfill their needs. Um, they just want you to know that he made me want to be a better person, said so they're healing to be a better person for you. Um, we saw this twice in our reading here fear and impatience, root chakra, uh, anger, aggression, greediness, physical blockages surrounding safety and security. We saw that stability. Um, Masculines are working on being grounded here. Um, so the Masculines have an issue with their fears and impatience and anger and aggression and greediness and wanting things right now, but um, they need to take it slowly. I numb myself to escape reality and my feelings. So masculine tries to numb out the pain. Um, we talked about how they were trying to block that so that they didn't feel all of this pain and stuff like that, but they just can't ignore those signs anymore. I miss everything about you. Oh, they miss everything about you. And that's crazy because we've just been getting so much of this lately um, about your masculines missing you so much. So something big is going to happen here. And really soon, masculines are awakening and descending and going through a lot of crazy energy right now. And you will be able to pick up on this and feel this. You guys, because you guys are going to be mirroring one another, okay, mirroring masculine and feminine, um, and you will come together, connect, and there will be, you know, um, a reuniting of the two of you. Um, and your masculines are just working their hardest to get to you, to come back to you, to reestablish this relationship between the two of you. Um, because there has been this separation and maybe even miscommunication. And um, masculines are just going to do their best to come back in and ask for forgiveness and um, they really just want to be with you and desire you a lot right now and miss you and are having um, dreams about you and sensing your energy and everything. 